we are back showing you what P got for her third birthday. You're gonna have to excuse our voices, our appearance. Um, after I finish my vlog, I'm not ready just yet in a minute. After we finished her birthday vlog, we all came down with colds, didn't we? <laughs> so P got it, then I got it within like six hours. And then Neil got it after me after like two hours. He had to take a day off of work. We were I all- I can't see you all day. <laughs> <laughs> we all came down with the lurk, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So today we are having a home day and I want to sort out all of these toys. So excuse the background. But I thought, I just want to film it and get it done and then I can put things away. So P is going to be here helping me, showing me. It's not going to be a nice viewing video because, oh God, I'm going to get whacked in the face with toys. Wait one second, okay? I just want to do a couple of disclaimers. Um, I feel like it's quite excessive what she's got this year. There's quite a lot of big things. Some of the stuff I've had in the attic for like two and a half years. Bear in mind she's just turned three. Um, so she's got quite a lot of bulky things and Neil's also got a really big side of the family compared to what I have um, So I'm not bragging We are just very lucky that people want to gift her presents. We have asked for money, but people don't like to give money Which is fine. I'm almost ready. That's right. I'm just saying that we're not showing off because we don't show off do we? Please. Yeah, we can So something that P has been asking for for so long is Topsy Tim books. Topsy and Tim books. So one of Neil's brothers um, said, what would you like for her birthday? And I knew to ask for Topsy and Tim books. Ah, Topsy and Tim is one of Pete's favourites. I've got and, an egg. Yeah, you've got an egg. We don't need to show that just yet. Um, it goes like that. Well done. So this was, I think it was £15. So expensive for what they are, um, but £15 is the budget per child for birthday or Christmas. So, um, chuffed to bits with these. Neil actually found the whole collection at a car boot, and I think it was, I think it was 10p a book. And I will never forgive Neil for not buying those, because she loves them. So we've now got, is it 10 book collection? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So you've got 10 books in the collection. I'll just quickly go through them so I'm you get. Me. Hang on, babe, not yet. Where's your camera? No. You've got itchy heads, go to the zoo, have a birthday party, go camping, go to the dentist, learn to swim, at the farm, play football, go to the doctors, go on an aeroplane. So it's the first experience, this one. We only need a couple more now to finish the collection, so I'm hoping to do that I'm for Christmas. In a minute, you're ruining the surprise. So she's got those from one of Neil's brothers. I got that. Yeah, that's right. And then should we show this? Mm -hmm. The other brother asked what to get P, and I suggested Playmobil. <coughs> I don't know whether <coughs> that's it, good girl. I don't know if she's old enough to have Playmobil. This is quite young, um, quite old, even though it was ages three plus, I think. There's lots of little bits. So I always ask for things that she can grow into because she's got birthday and Christmas within a month apart. I like things that she will. I can put away for like until the summer and then we can get it out when she's a little bit older. So this is the Playmobil Princess set. This should have been £40, which is just ridiculous. I guess Playmobil is sort of like the same concept of Lego because it's just really expensive. So it's this little set and I don't really want to open it because it's full. So it folds away, which I like because you can keep everything away. Then this lifts up like that, which I think is really cool, but for 40 quid. Um, obviously like we didn't that. get it for that, we got it for 20. Good girl, yeah. Really and it's basically like the princess set with the prince or something. So you've got the little princess, and then we've got the king who's currently holding a mirror, and then you've got loads of little bits. You've got loads of like different changes of outfits and stuff. But then you've got... You've got really, really small pieces. You've got pieces that are smaller than this. This is a little jug. Put this away until, like I say, summer. Um, just so she's a little bit older. I would still, hang on, good girl. I would still like some more Playmobil for her. Um, I just need to look at ones that's more appropriate. Recommendations as to what to get her. I don't want to get the one, two, three range. I feel like she's going to grow out of that really quickly. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Got that. Jesus Christ, you almost took my eye out. Uh, right, should we show what, why don't we show what Ellie got? Uh -huh. Yeah, what did Ellie get you? 
This one? That one. What is it? It's pony. Pony. Cakes. Pony cakes. That's right. So Ellie got her some pony cakes because P was going on about how she wanted some cake. What else did she get you? She got you this. It's like that. Do you know what that is? <laughs> what is it? Bubble wash. It's bath foam. Mm -hmm. You know, like your pepper foam. Mm -hmm. You've got that for the bath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else did Ellie get you? She got you this. Mm. What's that? A, good, a game. It's not a game, it's a, pu a, good puzzle. a puzzle. And what type of puzzle is it? Dancing. Um, Dancing princess puzzle. Should we show the camera? Uh, Turn it around that way. I got that. Got that one? I got that one. And then your favourite thing is your Christmas. Christmas. Woody. Christmas cup. Stand up and show the camera. Uh, oh. Bring it down. A Christmas. Got a Christmas cup? Yeah. No idea where these things are from. I assume it's like home bags. Actually, no, I think it is home bags. Um, so yeah, um, it's a little thing. cup. You know what? Um, I have got no idea how to get this lid off. My Auntie Carol um, normally gives her money, and this year she got her a next gift card, which I will use in the sales. We got £20 on there, which is great. We've got Black Friday coming up. Um, and then I also use that on Boxing Day. So we've got a nice gift card so I can treat Peter some clothes and new pyjamas and stuff. And then alongside it, we've got a frozen doll. I actually got this from Sainsbury's and Carol just paid me back for it. So this was £6 in the Sainsbury's toy sale. So she's got a little mini Elsa with Olaf and a brush. I thought she was beautiful. So she's got that one. And then little extras again from Carol. Got her some pepper bath and shower gel, which is actually really handy because I've run out. And a little pepper sponge. I've got no idea where she got these from. Next are things on behalf of my mum. So again, I always buy things for P and then I just get the money back. It just works out easier. I know what I like. I know what P likes. And I know how to bargain hunt. Whereas, shh, good girl, keep it quiet, please. Whereas my mum doesn't really know how to shop in a savvy way if that makes any sense so i found this again in the sainsbury's toy sale it is the same size as this one they're the mini petite dolls or gus gus and this again was six pounds from the sainsbury's toy sale and then alongside that we have got pizza pizza which is an orchard toys game this should have been 10 pounds i found it in sainsbury's for five pounds there was only one left i was very lucky and we really like this one. So the concept is, is that you have a spinner. You could do the shapes or the colours. And then you either do the shapes or the colours on the pizza pieces. I don't know if that makes sense. And then you make a pizza. But some of the pizza pieces are have bugs on. So we like this one, don't we? We played that one yesterday with Daddy when we were off poorly. From Neil's mum, again, she said, when I go to the Sainsbury's toy sale, buy something and I'll give you the cash for it. So I'm very lucky that I have the opportunity to do that. So I knew I wanted to get this for P, whether it be from myself or from anyone else. And I managed to get it. And it is the baby bath with the ring and the duck. And there is also a towel as well. This is great. I really like this. We got it out last night and used it. And you love this babe, don't you? Mm -hmm. You took her to bed last night, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And she went in the bath and you took her out and you gave her a little rub down, didn't you, with her towel? So yeah, it floats really well. It's a really good sturdy, like, unicorn ring. I was worried that loads of water was going to get in it and it would go all funny and rank. But I feel like this is going to be quite a good one. This, again, was from the Sainsbury's toy sale. Right, I just had to quickly go and give P a quick snack. Um, and I've put her in the dining room so she's watching some telly. And I've got my first hot Ribena of the year. Ribena is so expensive, but Jesus Christ, it's good. Um, anyway, what was I saying? So that baby, um, it was half price in the Sainsbury's toy sale, so it was £7.50, which is a great price. Um, but it's also in Argos at the moment, because Argos is now within the Sainsbury's, so it's the Chad Valley one, it's £15. Yeah, the only clothing we got this year was a little skirt. He doesn't have a skirt. This literally looks like a mini skirt. I don't know how it's going to fit. Um, but it's this little navy one. This is from Morrison's. It came in a set with some tights. Not a massive fan on the tights, but she can just wear white ones. I'm not too sure where that comes on the tight situ. Um, but she's got those. And then she's got this little jumper, which I think P will really suit because she suits yellow against her dark hair 
so it's got little pine cones on so we got that little set so I think that was some brown boots will look really really sweet so Neil's mum always likes to buy her some clothes so that was nice of Neil's mum my mother-in-law which is still weird to say got her the piggy game whenever we say to P like would you like a game for your birthday or for Christmas she's like yes piggy game this is what she means this is pigs in pants this is weird it's a really hard game to play I don't understand it if you have it leave me a comment and let me know it's age four plus it just doesn't really make sense so you basically have a card you have two cards each and then you have four cards in the middle and then you have to match your card in the middle but so like yesterday when we were playing it we but we both couldn't go so i just i just don't get it i need to take some time to figure it out but she was chuffed a bit to have this this is currently on offer on amazon for like five pounds 25 so that is pigs in pants and that was everything from Neil's mum. From Neil's dad, I said to Neil, here's a big list. Pick some things off the list. They went into the city together. I was like, anything off this list would be great. And then Neil texted me and I was like, she's got a dog. Don't kill me. £25 on this. You can imagine my reaction. <laughs> but to be fair, she does like it. It drives me up the wall. I'm not even going to turn it on because she's going to run in here and want to play with it. And I just want to film this video. £25. I would never pay that. It's like a plastic lead and you've got two settings. So you push it up and it barks and you push it down and it walks. It doesn't walk very well on carpet and it falls over. She's called it Waffle. What more can I say? We've got a bloody walking, talking dog. Great. And then Neil was like, is there anything extra that can go with it? I was like, yes, there is. Get Disney DVDs because they are on really good deals at the moment. I'll show you some more in a minute. So we've got Chicken Little, which I'm actually going to watch once I finish this video with P. I went to go and see this at the cinema with my grandma when I was however old when it came out. And I really liked it. So P will hopefully like this you obviously know i'm collecting the disney um shiny covers i've got a really good collection now i only ever get them when they're on offer so this was only 3.99 in no it wasn't it was 2.99 even better was it 2.99 2.99 3 3.99 either way it was a bag so we've got chicken little my grandma always gives me money for pee she's not able to get out and shop and stuff like that so it's just easier for her to give me money this year I wasn't too sure what to get and then we went to the library and he suddenly found these books and became obsessed with them obviously because she takes after me and she has an obsessive personality and she likes to collect things. She doesn't like to collect things does she because she's a three year old. I like to collect things for her. I can't just have one, I have to have them all. So I went online and I couldn't find what I wanted. So they had an older style of books and you can get 14 as a gift set for a certain price. Or you can get the newer set, the newer style and design which I didn't like and you could only get 10 books. So I went online and I went on the Facebook marketplace and I just find someone that was selling a brand new set, never used, never really read, um, for £10. And I said, would you post them for me? She said yes. So I had to pay £6 courier which i was okay with because of the condition and they were the covers that i wanted and i got 14 so it pretty much worked at just over a pound a book and that is winnie the witch so i had never seen or heard of these before i never had these as a child i know ellie had them when she was younger but i didn't they are by valerie thomas and corky paul which i believe he is the author it might be a girl i'm not too sure um, so there are 14 in this collection and this is the older style. The older style are like Winnie's blah blah blah, whereas the newer style are Winnie and Wilbur. And I just, I just don't like the covers. So, these are the older style. We have got Winnie's Magic Wand, Winnie's Flying Carpet, Winnie in the Winter, Winnie's New Computer, Winnie at the Seaside, Winnie's Midnight Dragon, Winnie's Pirate Adventure, this is one of Pete's favourites. Winnie Flies Again. Winnie the Witch, which is the first one, the classic one, she loves that. Winnie in Space, another one of Pete's favourites. The Amazing Pumpkin. Winnie Under the Sea. Oh, Winnie's Dinosaur Day and Happy Birthday Winnie. 
they're really really lovely colorful books um i could have spent ages looking at the pictures i mean i still do really colorful not too long p's obviously really into her stories but uh, like just look at this spread look at all those colors i just think they're beautiful um p's really into her books but she can't really sit and listen to a really long book these are the perfect length they're probably a bit too advanced for her but she loves it she gets involved every time winnie says a spell she says and shouts abracadabra and p says that as well so really interactive p likes pointing out things like the cat and her spiders and stuff through them so i was chuffed to bits to find those 16 pounds isn't really a lot of money for the amount of books that i got so yeah really really happy with those you can't actually buy these brand new anymore that's why i got them second hand because i wanted this old design as opposed to the new one which is more colorful um but yeah i'm really really happy to get those so there are just a few more that i want to try and collect there's like a, a meat santa one which i'd quite like to get for christmas if i can find it at a good price the thing that i've got to show you that is from my dad is over here it's this i'll try and bring it around just so i don't have to move for birthday last year he got her a till i think and then for, no for birthday last year he got a supermarket trolley and a plastic food basket then for christmas he got her the till and then this year he got her the supermarket so i get the theme um but for what it is it really is it's a lot of money so this thing here this till um it doesn't make any noise it's basically just a calculator and i'm not even lying about that there's loads of like shopping buttons here they have no purpose they don't do anything so like you can push the cash button or the card button or the receipt or whatever it doesn't do anything then here you've got this little like tablet where you would push buttons again it doesn't do anything it's just a sticker and i think for when you spend 50 pounds on something you'd expect it to do a little bit more that's just me i'm being completely honest say i'm an arsehole all you want got a little card here that slots through there again makes no noise you've got a little cash register here so the money goes in there and then you have fruit and vegetables in here and then you also have it down at the bottom she does love it she does play with it and she does play shops but from an adult's perspective when you look at what it is and you think about monetary value i don't know if that's even a word i would say it shouldn't be the price point that it is but then again that's john lewis for you so we've got that and like i said she really does love it and it's not as big as i thought it would be which i'm actually quite thankful for so i'm going to be able to put that in the dining room slash playroom um, and p can play with that really nicely so it came with all sorts of different fruit and veg so it's got pears it's got i assume that's a tomato or a pepper maybe it's got some potatoes she doesn't have any potatoes so that's good it's got carrots and it came with some croissants as well everything that friends and family have brought for p I know I say brought instead of bought as well. I've had comments on that before. I know I say it wrong, but I say it wrong. Anyway, now I've got to show you what myself and Neil got P. So like I said, a lot of this stuff has been kept in the attic for a very, very long time. So what should I start with? This, Sainsbury's toy sale. No, I've got it in Tesco's in the sale. When I got the ones from the Sainsbury's toy sale, I put a lot of them back and then as the week went on I was like I'm desperate I need some more I got this from Tesco's for £7.50 it's quite a lot of money but P likes um, Ariel so we've got her Ariel that's what she looks like she is beautiful and then she's got flounder as well so P calls this her fishy one so I can finally take these out of the boxes so she's got Ariel um I got this was from Hobbycraft back in the summer. It's a little sun catcher that you paint, and it's a number three. P likes doing painting, so we can do this in the conservatory. Um, and this should have been £1.10, and I got it for 60p. So I don't know when they do offers and stuff, but they do do them, so keep an eye out. Um, so we've got that. It's a good little craft thing that I hope will take, like, 20 minutes. This random thing, back when we went to Skegness, for our sun holiday so over a year ago it's not very good i thought it made noise but it doesn't and you actually put water in it which i'm not going to do in the house we can do that outside in the summer um but she likes playing with this thing and she calls it her coffee machine which it is but it just doesn't make noise um so you have a button here i don't really know what what you do i think you pump water around and it comes through and 
goes through there's a hole under here and then it goes through into the jug so that should have been 10 pounds i think or 12 pounds and i got it for five so that'll be she likes playing with it anyway she puts like eggs and stuff in there so she does play with it um but we'll play with it properly outside picked this up last year now i really don't want to show you all this because i can imagine quite a lot of you are going to want to go out and buy it for your children but it doesn't exist anymore so like i said argos took over the Sainsbury's toy section so it's now all Chad Valley it used to be grow and play don't know if any of you are aware of it I like to know this sort of information because I'm not right in the head sometimes so Sainsbury's range used to be called grow and play and it was beautiful hence the colours and I got this last year in the toy sale so October 2017 and I said to Ellie at the time I was like buy it just buy it if you like it do it and she's so glad that she did because they've changed the colours. So it's like a really harsh dark blue with red. Not very nice, not very aesthetically pleasing. And I like this. So you've got the mint green, the light blue, and then you've got the yellow. And this is the microwave. So you've got different buttons here. So like a bowl, bread, fish, spaghetti, chicken, meat. The start button and then it opens. Inside it comes with a chicken. Um... I'm not going to push it on, but it runs for a certain amount of time. So it ranges from 1 to 1.32 to 3. You push start and then it has a countdown here. And then it dings once you've finished with it. She loves this. So this, I think, should have been... I think it should have been 12 and I got it for 6. I don't know what the prices are this year because obviously I haven't looked. But she loves her little toy microwave. So she's got that from us. And then another thing that I haven't seen for two years because I got this October 2016. This is why I say to people that I really am tapped. It's a cleaning set. So yeah, I got it when P just turned one and she's now turned three. Um, I got it before she turned one. How weird is that? She's got a little cleaning set. So she's got a mop and a bucket. I just love it. Put your water in there. Obviously I'm not gonna put water in there. And then you wring it out. So she's got a little cleaning set. She has got a dustpan brush to go with it as well, but it's in the dining room and I can't bother to go and get it. So she's got a little brush, a dustpan, and then she's got a big brush, and then obviously she's got a handheld brush. She like sweeps up. And then she's got a little bottle of cleaning spray. It didn't come with a cloth, so we made a little, we cut a little J cloth off. And she likes to spray it and do her washing up, and she loves using this as well. Um, so that again was from the Sainsbury's toy sale and I think that must have been, I think it was like £6. And then that I got this little set, I think when I was pregnant, <laughs> when we first went to the toy sale. And it's this little pot and pan set, so it matches her little tea set. So you get two pots and pans, you get a little frying pan, you get a ladle, a little spatula. A chopping board and a knife but I don't know what she's done with the knife and this again was from Tainsbury's like I said years ago and that, honestly this was something like £1.50 which is why I got it back in the day because I was like sod it I like it I'm gonna buy it and that's pretty much where my hoarding started so I got the breakfast set so this was great I don't think they do this anymore I got this last year Ellie got it as well so you get the two cups you get the two plates, like that, and then you get knives and forks, so you get two of it, not knives and forks, you get spoons and knives, so you get two of each. You get two croissants, like this, they're really, really lovely quality, good size. Um, and then you get two egg cups, someone's just walked past the window looking at me and wondering what I'm doing with my life. I wonder that too at times. Um, a little egg cup, and the eggs break in half. So she likes to boil these in her little percolator coffee thing, which is bizarre. She likes to do dippy eggs and stuff. Um, and then it also comes with a kettle, which makes sound. So you push this button here and it boils. And then if you tip it, it makes a noise as well. So it's fab, love that. And then it also comes with a little usable toaster. So you wind that, hang on. Pop it down, wind that. That pops up. And then you get two little bits of bread. Love it. That was £6 as well. 
So technically her birthday presents this year haven't cost me that much because it's been away for such a long time. So that's all my Sainsbury stuff um, that I've got to show you. I got this randomly from Home Bargains. I think it was last year. <laughs> and it was £1.79 I think. It's a little umbrella. I'm obviously going to be starting doing the school run in January. And I don't think I'm going to be walking. But in the winter months when I'm walking from the car to go and get her. She's probably going to want a little brolly. So she, was, she goes, I need a umbrella mummy. So I got her umbrella. Um, it's got little birds on it and stuff, so she loves that. She did try and take my eye out with it, so I've got to teach her to be careful. I'm going to show you these, because these are a bag. And I've got to thank someone that I speak to on Instagram about bags all the time. Her name is Nicola. And whenever there's a bag, she messages me being like, blah, 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 it's here, or this is this, this price at this shop. And I'm like, okay. And I sent Ellie on a mission, and she managed to get them for me. I'm so cheeky showing you these. Sylvanian families. However expensive are these normally? They're like 18 99 Literally daylight robbery. Um, my friend messaged me and she was like, you need to go to B&M. These are reduced to five pounds. So I sent Ellie on a mission because I don't really live near a and I was like, Ellie, I need you to go now. So she went and got a couple of boxes as well. They only had the silk cat family, um, which is slightly annoying. I wanted some more. Who has Sylvanians at their house? House. At Ellie's house, that's right. Evie's got loads, hasn't she? The big ones. Evie's got loads. Yeah? Let's sit down. Come on, you can sit down. Careful. Good girl. You're um, really smoky, Evie, aren't you? Evie really wants to go home. Evie's got lots at home. I'm now about to show these. So, obviously it wouldn't be a haul of mine if it weren't for me buying Orchard Toys as well. First one I've got to show you, again, Sit there. That's it. Sit on the books. There you go. Good girl. Sit there. There's a good girl. So the first one, all of these, I actually didn't buy this year. I got last year. Um, I think I got this one two years ago. And this is shopping list. This is one that Pia has wanted for such a long time. I've seen it loads in charity shops. She's like, "Mummy, shopping this. Buy this, please." I'm like, "No, I can't. I got this in the Black Friday sale." So again, check online. Black Friday sale. They always go down in price. I got this for two pounds sixty, brand new. Um, because it's been in the attic for a couple of years, the box is dented, which really got on my nerves when Neil got it out. And I was like, Neil, look after things. But yeah, shopping list, this is great. You get... Yeah, we can play it in a minute. You can put it over there, can't you? I'll give it to you in a minute. Um, you get four lists, and you get two ba and then you get two baskets and two trolleys, which I really like. Two baskets Yeah, I've, sh I've shown the duck. So yeah, this is shopping list. So again, this is a really good classic Orchard Toys. If you don't know where to start with your Orchard Toys collection, get shopping list. I feel like I need to do a whole Orchard Toys collection video. That will take me hours. Maybe I'll do it in the new year when he's at nursery. I don't want your second hand biscuit, please. I don't want it. Go put it in the bin then if you don't like it. You don't have to eat it. Go pop it in the bin. Good girl. I've get... got two more. Wait until Christmas. She's got multiple for Christmas as well. I've got Teddy Bear Holiday Snap. She doesn't have a snap game. I got this in the Aldi um, like summer children's game sale last year for two ninety nine, I think. So this is one of the mini ones. These normally go for five pounds, like on Amazon and stuff. So it was a good price. Um, so it's just snap. That's it. Good girl. Get them all out for me. And then the other one is in my bag. I packed, which is which is great. They don't actually sell these. Um, like online anymore they were like exclusive to aldi so i do apologize about that but this is like a lotto so you get four bags and then you obviously have to match what's in the bag so it's the same concept as shopping list um P really really likes this one so they're good little travel size ones as well on a really good offer so check out sainsbury's at the moment check out hmv hmv do really good prices and the disney store so i got this one in the disney store for 3 99 which is a really, really good price. It's Tarzan. This was on the telly and I recorded it and she was like, oh, monkey one. So I was like, I'm gonna buy that then. So we've got Tarzan, which is beaut. I then found Alice in Wonderland. This is one I've been after for a really long time and it's never been on offer. And then on a whim, I checked it, 4 99 for a, like a proper classic. So I couldn't believe that. So that one's blue. They're all blue, it really gets on my nerves. I need some more. I need some more pinks. 
And then we've got Lilo and Stitch. Again, another blue one. This was £5, so I hope she likes this one. I remember watching it with my cousin when I was younger. When did this come out? It came out in like 2001, so it's quite an old one. So, yes. Yeah, I'm almost finished. So that is her little Disney DVD collection this year. Love those. Again, like I said, wait and see for Christmas because I have got some more. And then finally, I'm going to have to move my camera just so I can show you. The main present that P got this year from us was a toy kitchen. Oh, kid. Break. It's not broken, you just keep taking it off. I got this toy kitchen in um, Aldi last year, maybe the year before. It was reduced from £30 to £20. This is the older style, obviously. Um, I don't know. This is the older style, obviously, because they bring out new ones each year. But I just really liked the colour palette, and for £20, I was like, sod it, I'm just going to buy it and put it away. So, I'm going to move my camera and show you. It comes up to sort of like my waist, so it's a really good height, but it's not too big. And we were originally going to get her the Ikea one for 60 quid. Um, but then I saw that and I was like, no, I, I'd rather have this for the price. So, it's obviously quite colourful, but not too garish. So, you've got a nice little clock up here. You've got a little microwave in there. Obviously, these are just pretend. Got little cubby holes for all of the stuff that we got from Sainsbury. So, like, her toaster fits there, the microwave fits there, and the kettle. So, she's got these little things. It annoys me how these come off. I might just get Neil to, like, wood glue them in there. Because she's always taking them off. Um, but we've got the little hobs. And then you've got the little twisty dials as well. She's got a little workstation. And on the end, there's a little blackboard. Um... And then she's got her little sink, which she always uses to wash up. So this does actually come out, and she posts things through there. She's got her little tap. I mean, it's obviously not the best kitchen and the most fancy, but for what it is, I think it's great. I never had a kitchen, so she's very lucky to have this. Um, you've got some storage here. I'm actually going to get some baskets from Home Bargains. Um, the little white ones for like 89p to put there to store her fruit and stuff. I might get some for in there as well. Um, but she fills it with all of her fruit and veg and you can turn the dials as well so you've got one for the oven and then you've got the others for the hob I just really like it well that's right well done and show me how you shut your oven like that like that that's right and it's got like perspex plastic do you love your kitchen <laughs> yeah it's great, good girl. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration for the run up to Christmas. I've had so many questions asking if I'm gonna film this or if I'm gonna do a Christmas one. I don't do Christmas or birthdays until the event has been so I can show you everything. So there's a bit of variety and hopefully you can get a little bit of inspiration from something that I've shown. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been a little bit chaotic but that's what it's like having a three year old now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave you all. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. You gonna come and say goodbye? Yeah. Bye. Bye. So I'm now gonna go and watch Chicken Little. I watch Chicken Little. Good girl. Bye. Bye. Say so I am three. I am three. Whoa, that's big girl, isn't it? Yeah.